The Instructional Partnership Initiative, or IPI, is a way for schools to foster a culture of continuous growth. Teachers collaborate to support one another's learning, form relationships, reflect on instructional practices, and help students achieve. When inquiry and growth are valued like they are in IPI, instruction and student outcomes improve. We hope that you will take advantage of this tool for supporting teachers and improving student learning. Well, the one thing that we wanted to do here at the school, at EA Cox Middle School, was to uh, set about building relationships, not just with students, but also building relationships among faculty. Here at our school, we are a little separated. We, um, we do have five through eight grades, and so um, a lot of times, I'm a seventh grade teacher and a lot of times I don't see the fifth and sixth grade teachers as often. So I feel like um, a lot of the partners were maybe a different grade level, even though they were same subject. We were able to kind of bridge those relationships across the building and not just oh, I'm talking to the person next door to me or I'm um, you know, collaborating with my grade level partner or subject area. It's kind of going past that. And so it kind of opened those doors a little bit and you know, we're kind of like students in a way sometimes. We have our, our creatures of habit and, and find our teachers that we know. And so it kind of took us a little bit outside of that comfort zone. I would say with IPI, it helped me to see, being new to the school, it helped me to see how the teachers here had done things, process, you know, progress with things. Teamwork, teamwork, collaboration, uh, some of those soft skills that we, that we talk about all the time that employers look for that, that we don't do a good job because we're so focused on tests and those kinds of things, a lot of those, those skills that are transferable, working together as a team, problem solving, trying to get better, common vernacular, all those pieces that, are, that will come out of having that central focus uh, that the IPI and even the team rubric brings to the entire evaluation process and the idea of setting goals and, self, and improving uh, based on that, that particular mat uh, matrix. We all need improvement, whether we're level five or level three. Um, and so I think that was a good place um, for me to be able to open up to someone and, and for me to be able to grow as well. It allowed us to help each other. Uh, part of it was being able to help one another for, in my case, with classroom management, as far as helping each other on ideas that we both used, or also on how we presented instruction. Uh, we were able to meet pretty much every week and work on different things and discuss different things, ideas for lesson plans and things of that nature. It was just nice to be able to feed off ideas from each other and just have somebody else to talk to and get suggestions from or ask questions from. We also spent a good amount of time talking about being able to work, uh, make sure and keep the students engaged in classroom management and being able to try and build on that and how a lot of times those two things are tied together. The more engaged they are, the more likely you are to have fewer classroom management problems. The spirit behind evaluation is continuous improvement. Evaluation should provide useful feedback to help teachers grow. IPI uses the evaluation data to match teachers with partners who have complementary strengths and areas of growth. We're excited to be able to use evaluations the way they were meant to be used to help teachers grow, ultimately impacting the growth of our students. Over the last two school years, IPI was piloted with great success in a number of schools across the state. And through our research efforts, we can say with certainty that the program increased teaching skills and student achievement. We're continuing to study this initiative carefully this year to improve it and make sure we can be successful as we build capacity to support schools through the process. This initiative will be available to almost half of schools in the state this year, and it'll be rolled out to all the rest next year. We are excited to have you join us.